Here at Baseflow, we believe that the real water crisis is invisible. There is enough mounting evidence to suggest that we are on the precipice of a true crisis. Boreholes are drying up, rivers are turning to dust, and Lake Malawi, which we have depended on for so long, is actually going to drop by about half a meter by 2021, according to some studies. But the funny thing? It's business as usual. Donors are still funding NGOs to drill more boreholes in areas where probably they shouldn't. And the leadership of my country is actually going to tap water from the very same lake whose levels are dropping year on year. A few years ago, I had a conversation with a professor from the University of Strathclyde. And the conversation was around how do we get more people interested and concerned about this impending water crisis. The answer? Let's try radio. For six weeks, we ran a series of groundwater education programs on local radio stations and waited to see what listeners would do or say. And this is one of those responses. I'm Alexander Gampeta, Executive Director of uh, Center for Agricultural Development and Youth Participation, Cardio, based here in Nchew District, here Jakumbira Namari Village. And as you can see here, these are the community-based structures members who are here working with us to make sure that there is sustainability of programs which we are trying to implement. Cardiop is working on a number of issues, like one, environmental and natural resources management, youth participation, and uh, HIV AIDS, nutrition, gender, democracy. In this community, people are involved in environmental degradation, each and everyone, I should say like that, because it's the only source of income for them. Everyone is cutting down trees for child production, even also for timber selling. Last year, we also experienced some floods that uh, it took away the utensils of people and also the, uh, the crops in, in various fields. no another intervention aimed at um, sustaining the land as well as for environmental, rather integrated water management. We don't have any intervention in this community. There are a lot of boreholes which are dried out and the, as if that is not enough people, it doesn't know how to repair or to maintain those boreholes and they don't even know the depth of the borehole. Even if they don't even know how best they can um, manage it. A certain day in the morning, I woke up and I was trying to listen to full radio on a program called Kokoriko. So, on the middle of it, I just heard that there's a new program called Madzindu Omoyo being sponsored by Base Flow. So I was trying to look for them, where are they based. So in that radio program, I learned a lot of things which were new to me, fortunately, because of a certain AGM at Malawi School and Partnership, I get to know, to know their contacts. Soon after the AGM of Malawi School and Partnership, I traveled, I got a bus, and then I reached to their offices of base law to discuss on how best we can work together. So they welcomed me, and we discussed two few issues concerning about the consequences and the challenges which we are facing in this community. One of them was about the boreholes which, which are not working and that people here, they don't have any other capacity to maintain the boreholes which have dried up. I'm Alexander Gampeta, Executive Director of uh, Center for Agricultural Development and Youth Participation, Cardio. And my name is Muti Shema, team leader at Baseflow and a partner of the University of Strathclyde.